to go build somewhere else? We're here at Store One at VMON 2022 with VM Blog. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing here at the show? Sure. Hi, I'm uh, George Crump, Chief Product Strategist at Store One. Uh, we are uh, showing a, a solution from us that we call S1 Backup. That is a uh, system, a storage backup storage system optimized specifically for the Veeam use case. And maybe you can give us kind of a deeper dive into some of the technology behind it? Sure. So uh, unlike some of our competitors, we believe that the uh, backup storage market does not need to go all flash, that we think an intelligent use of both flash and hard disk drives is critical. At the same time, we also need to be aware that ransomware is becoming a bigger and bigger threat, specifically to backup data. And so what we've done is we've uh, enabled a a mutable flash tier and an immutable hard disk tier. So what we're able to do is send more backups uh, more frequently to the flash tier. As soon as the backup completes, we create an immutable copy of that. It can live on the flash tier for an extended period of time. It's fully protected. We run uh, our, our V-Ray technology on it, so it's protected from drive failure, things like that. But all the copies are immutable. As the data ages, we'll move it to the hard disk tier to keep costs down. Unlike a lot of our competitors, we can support very, very high density hard disk drives, so 16, 18, 20 terabyte hard disk drives. Uh, and that allows us to really not only keep costs down, but also keep uh, deliver a very dense system. So uh, in the system that uh, you see here, we're able to, in a 5U chassis, deliver a petabyte and a half of storage. So very, very dense uh, configuration. The other thing we recommend as a best practice is to put your Veeam backup metadata here, your indexes, your configuration files. And that allows us to a little perf improve performance, but mostly to also maintain this immutable snapshots on those as well. And then we can do, our technology can do a consistency group between the two immutable snapshots so that if you are attacked and need to roll back, say, 36 hours, when you do that, both the indexes and the backup data are perfectly in sync with each other. Uh, so fully protected from ransomware gives you a lot of flexibility there. But of course, at some point, you back up because you want to recover. And so what we do is when you go to do either a Veeam instant recovery or a direct recovery, those recoveries can happen to our flash tier. So we'll dynamically reallocate capacity and allow you to recover to flash. And that allows you to deliver production class performance to your applications. Uh, the big advantage here is, especially in the case of a ransomware attack, most industry analysts say it takes over a month to get that all the way out of your environment. So you can run for an extended period of time, the system is highly available, it has all the feature sets that customers would be used to, and then we support any protocol. So we support Fiber Channel, NVMe over Fabric, iSCSI, NFS, SMB, and S3. So we can support all the various protocols with uh, no problem at all. And so that gives us a real turnkey uh, sort of solution and we call that 360 degree ransomware protection and so we improve the protection of production data because you can back up more frequently more often we provide the immutability on the backup data so that way if uh, you're under attack by a ransomware attack the backup data itself is protected I think this is an area where a lot of people forget is the backup metadata if you don't have the indexes uh, and configuration files for your backup software, you're not recovering anything. You'd have to rebuild all that stuff. So we protect all that through that immutability. And then finally, uh, you know, what Gartner's su suggesting a lot is a sterile recovery environment. And that's our standby storage that I showed you before where we can instantiate um, the recovered instance directly on our uh, environment. And so this gives us sort of the total wall of protection around your backup data. Great. And maybe you can go into a little detail about uh, your partnership with Veeam and you know what kind of value add you, you give. Sure. So we've uh, just recently uh, garnered uh, Veeam Ready status. Uh, so we're uh, for a repository. Uh, so that uh, that works well. And then we're engaging uh, with Veeam uh, throughout the uh, the field and things like that. It, it's the value for them is it, it you know they've done a lot of work on their immutability, and so this gives you sort of a double level. Uh, of immutability uh, um, and really protects you from that ransomware attack. And if you look at it, there's specific things they do in feature sets that the way we've designed our architecture 
uh, really enhance those feature sets. So instant recoveries now are running at production class performance. Uh, you can uh, scale our system to up to 15 petabytes, so you can use it for a long-term data repository if you want to. So all of those features are uh, just complementary to each other. Great. And lastly, where can people go if they want to find out more information about Store One? Sure, you can go to storeone.com for a home page and overview of the product. If you're uh, specifically focused on backup, you can go to storeone.com slash backup. I think the other key uh, ingredient here as we talk about backup is this is a backup storage system with a future that it, as you, once we solve your backup problem, because we support all those different protocols, uh, we're able, we see customers start using us for archive, secondary NAS, then eventually production NAS, and even hosting VMware environments. So it's a, it's a solution that will grow with you and, and be able to do more things for you as you're ready. Great, well thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. All right, thanks for having me.